Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I had a viewer that wanted to know the recipe for making homemade lotion. So I'm going to do it a little different today, but I'll tell you how I usually do it. So first, I have a pan, let's see, of boiling water. Well, it's not boiling yet, but I just put it on to boil. And the first thing, so you want a double boiler. I don't have a double boy, boiler. I can't say that word. But um, you can just put a glass bowl on top of um, a pan with water in it. So the first thing it asks for is three-fourth cup of shea butter. So that's what I usually do, but today, so this is my shea butter. I've used it, and so I just put it in a baggie, and then I have more right here, but I'm not going to actually use that. But I'll show you my bags of the brand I usually get. So the this is the kind I bought first. It's like Beauty by Shea. And I believe I just buy these on Amazon, but I'm not sure. But And then I went to buy more because I'm almost out. And... They didn't have that kind anymore, so I got this kind, which is organic, unfiltered, or unrefined shea butter. So that's the kind you want, is the unrefined shea butter. Um, so, it's hard to see you if you want to see my pot, because then I have to stand out here. Anyway, so we're going to put... So instead, I'm going to put half shea butter and half mango butter. I've never done mango butter, but I bought mango butter a while ago, and I was like, hey, I'll try the mango butter. And because, yeah, I'll tell you that later. But, um, so the mango butter comes in like these chunks. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to measure that as well. The shea butter is kind of messy and it just spilled all over my counter. Let's scoop it up. But, um, it's very moisturizing. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you... Get it all over your hands now that it's all over my hands because it's moisturizing. So, I'm just going to see if I can pour like a half. This is a three-fourths thing, so I'm doing half shea butter and half of the mango butter. So, maybe I'll just fill it a little bit with shea butter. Whoop. Like that. Oh man, that is so messy. It's got to rub it in. It's all over my hands. So I filled the thing up like this much. And then I'm just going to take like three, maybe four. I'll do four chunks. Of the shea butter. Ooh. So I'm pushing it down, the shea butter down. I mean, this is mango butter. So I just took some mango butter and I'm gonna put it over. If you don't do a double boiler, it will melt. I mean, burn. And so, um, Oh, man, it's all over my hands, and I 
have a hard time with lotion on my hands. But, well, because this isn't really lotion yet. But, okay, so now you put in one fourth cup of coconut oil. So I'm still boiling. So I just get this at Costco. Where's the lid? This Kirkland organic virgin coconut oil. And I just scrape the the measuring thing. So I just filled it mostly to the top. And the shea butter and stuff is starting to melt. This is so messy. This is messy. It's super easy, but kind of messy. Because now I have, I don't have a hand. So just a second while I wash my hands. Okay, so um, it says, so you're supposed, sorry, you're supposed to melt the shea butter and the coconut oil in a double boiler. So this might, you can see the mango butter, but the, I mean the, sh what is this? The coconut oil is basically melted, or maybe it's, hi. I don't know, there's <laughs> Maylies saying hi, they're watching wild crafts right now, yeah. but, so you want it all melted, and then I'll come back when it's all melted because it might take a few minutes. Okay, so now all my ingredients are pretty much melted. I have like teeny tiny chunks that will melt in just a second. But so you're supposed to, um, once it's all melted, you turn it off the heat. And it says to put the bowl in the freezer, but wouldn't it break if you just had it super hot and then put it in the freezer? So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to turn the heat off and you let it like set up a little bit. So once it starts to turn to room temperature again, it will start to harden. So that's when you put your essential oils in. I'm not putting any in because I just like it like natural. And um, I don't, I don't want to put citrus because citrus you can't put on in things if you're going to put it on your face or your hands or your arms or your legs. Because if you're out in the sun, you will burn. It will burn your skin. And so, you cannot do that. And so, and I don't really like, like you can put lavender, frankincense, geranium, tea tree, what are some other ones? Um, cedar wood. But, I don't like a lot of those scents and so I'm not gonna put essential oils in I didn't put it in my other kind I just it doesn't it just smells like shea butter this one might smell good with the mango butter let's see if it smells good no it does not but shea butter does smell good so I'm just gonna let this sit up um, for like a little bit to solidify a little bit and then I'll come back um, and show you the rest of how to do it. Okay, so now I've put it in the refrigerator and it's like, here. Ugh, 
don't mind our dishwasher broke so my husband's fixing it but let's see okay so this is like the consistency of it it's like starting to thicken but it's not quite thick okay don't mind my hand right in the screen too so now you put your arrow uh, arrowroot powder so I just cut my bag down um, and so you're supposed to put one tablespoon but I'm gonna put two because I am hoping it will help with the greasiness like not greasiness but like feel like lotion on my hands that I don't like so and I think last time I put one so we're gonna try two this time and I did all my dishes already Woo. Um, so now I just rolled it up, down and it's like tiny now so I might have to put this over the whole thing so I just put it like that I'm like I've had this for so long um, but sorry I'm putting it away okay so now you mix with a mixer to like make it whipped and so I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's going to be super loud but I'll show you after I've whipped it um, you're supposed to do it for like three minutes so I'll set the timer and then I'll let you know when my three minutes is up okay so FYI, actually put it in the freezer for 20 minutes because I put it in the fridge and it and I tried to blend it or mix it and it was like too liquidy. So I finally Oh, it's mainly behind me. I'm like, what is that noise? Um so I finally got it mixed, so I still have my beaters in, let's see, so I'm trying to, so the beaters isn't that loud, but I was trying to beater the lotion off, but I'm not going to be able to. Hi, May. May ready for bed because this uh, it is bedtime can you put that over here for me Where? over by that back bag okay so I'm just gonna put these beaters against the bowl to try to get as much of it off as I can so I got like that much off and now whoop, I'm just going to put it in the sink to wash. Sorry if this is noisy, but I'm just trying to get it off. I have some in the middle that I'm trying to get out, but it won't come out very easy. I might just hold on. have to hit it a little harder. Be a little more aggressive. Okay. That your food is yummy. Oh, thank you. Okay, so now I got a spoon actually because this um may or this what is this called spatula is like solidifying on it because it's drying okay so now i just get a little mason jar like this 
And I'm just going to use my spoon to clean off my spoon. It's not called a spoon. Oh yeah, my spatula. <laughs> and put it in my sink so I can not clean a it. Spoon. That is called the spoon. And then I'm just going to take my mason jar and just put it in. So I could have whipped it. I guess I didn't do it for the three minutes, but I did mix it. There's not as much as I made last time, but so I'm just scraping the bowl. And scraping it into my mason jar. It's not scalp of the bowl. Oh yeah, what's it called? Mm -hmm. This is called the bowl. No, it's, not. it's a glass bowl. It's a glass plate. It's not a plate. Plates don't have sides on them. This has sides, so it's called a bowl. Okay, so I can't really get the rest of this off. I mean, if I really wanted to sit and scrape, I guess I'll try to get a little bit more. But it's pretty slim pickings. You have to wash your hands after that. Mm, well, it's just lotion. Sorry. So that's as much as I'm going to get off because it is, it is melting on my finger like that. But, so then, you want it in an airtight container and so then I just put a lid and... Well, the lid and then the ring on top and then just close it and that's my homemade lotion and usually I only use it for my like my arms my body and my legs I don't put it I when I put lotion on like this I usually wash my hands right after I put it on because I cannot handle it on my hands. I don't know. I have a sensory thing where I don't like lotion on my hands. Well, let me know if you've made homemade lotion before. Um, I'll put the recipe in the comments and it is, um, from a, like, I follow this lady that does all, like, these homemade re recipes. Um, for, like, skin, for health, for food, for cleaning, all these different recipes. And her name is Our Oily, or Our Oily House, I think. It's not on here, so. Oh, yeah, Our Oily House. And so I'll post her link so that you can watch other homemade videos of the stuff that she makes and I follow her and I make a lot of her stuff because they're really good um, I did make deodorant from her and I don't no I didn't make deodorant I made bar shampoo because that's the kind of shampoo I use well and conditioner I don't it didn't work. It, like, left my hair so oily and greasy. But I think I didn't... I don't know if you have to, like, store it in a cool, dry place for a while. And then it will, um, like, harden the way it's supposed to. I don't know. I don't know if I used it too soon. I don't know. But I did not like that. And that's the only thing I've ever made from her site that I haven't liked. I make a lot of her cleaner. I do use the, the 
um, this cleaner. Let me grab it real quick. It's the force of nature, I think is what it's called. You can't see see it on there. Oh, you kind of can. But um, I use that for most of my cleaning now. Because I, like I got Norwex, but I didn't like the fact that I couldn't use cleaner. I don't know, like my brain needs cleaner or something. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. But yeah. Comment down below if you make your own stuff or if you buy it. I buy my own deodorant. I used to make it for probably three years and it was fine, but I was done making it because it was so messy. If I could have put it in a bar and it worked well, then I would have done that, but it did not work well like that and so... I begged it, and now I don't. But, yeah, have a good night, and or day if it's daytime, and I'll see you later. Bye.